the Kakanda deposit in the Congo. Now, once again, uh, almost a floater formation. I can't see anywhere where it would have contacted the main ore. Crystalline right around tiny cobalt and calcite crystals of a grey pink. Now, what's interesting about these, when you look closer, when you actually zoom in, have a look at the still pictures. Now, all these guys are listed on eBay where are traders SA Hot Rocks. So they are currently for sale, if this is a recent video. You'll see there's color zoning inside these uh, 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 cobalt and calcite crystals. Running across the top would be some uh, crasser color. I think under magnification you'll find this tiny little uh, stalactite stalagmites of the, the crasser color running across there. The dusting as well would be crasser color. Crystalline all the way around, made up of tiny cobalt and calcite crystals. From Kakanda, um, usually on this particular section of Kakanda, I'd, I'd expect to find associations of malachite and colwezite. But in this case, what I'm seeing now would only be the cobalt and calcite and the chrysocala. Size-wise, not super large, I think edge to edge. So from a display point of view, quite a lovely piece uh, with good illumination, actually pretty bright. And lovely this color zoning in these little crystals. Edge to edge, maybe uh, just under two inches. Height wise, also under two inches. Width wise, just over an inch.